to ensure that your triceps are effectively growing, you essentially want to have three taps of movement, which is some sort of extension above the head, which is being executed by doing skull crushes. Then you want to have some sort of pressing movement, which is done by performing dips. And finally, you want to have some sort of extension movement, which is done by using cables or some sort of tricep pushdown. Starting off with skull crushers, these can be performed a number of ways. I prefer to use two dumbbells because it allows me to get full range of motion. Moving on to dips, if you want to target your triceps, you must be moving up and down in a straight line. However, moving up and down in a completely straight line can actually put a lot of stress on your shoulders. So make sure you find the perfect balance between leaning and maintaining proper form that doesn't cause any pain. Ensuring that your triceps are effectively engaged. If your body weight is too heavy or you haven't got the strength to perform body weight dips, then you can use resistance bands or the assisted dip machine to help you build up strength. Overhand pushdowns are a versatile exercise as they can be performed a number of ways, such as using a straight bar, as you can see. You can use a V bar, overhand grip or an underhand grip. Now there really isn't a difference between the overhand and underhand grip. However, I like to add a bit of variety in my workouts to prevent performing the same exercise over and over again. I also like to superset the overhand pushdowns with the underhand pushdowns. The way I perform this exercise is with a slight bend in my knees and an arch in my back while looking straight ahead and this ensures that I get maximum range of motion and the best engagement in my triceps. Finally, with tricep extensions, to get a better range of motion, instead of using one cable, you can use two cables. I hope this video helped. Make sure you like and subscribe and chat to you later.